Mr. G, we're making a movie. We're making a movie, good for you guys. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Hi, I'm John. I'm Miranda. And today we're going to be talking about hydroelectricity and hydroelectric power plants. We're going to talk to you about the overall plant operation. Advantages and disadvantages. How it affects our environment. And some fun facts. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh. So how do we get electricity from water? Hydroelectric and coal-fired power plants are kind of the same, actually. Both of them use a power source to turn a turbine, which turns a metal shaft in the electric generator. A coal-fired power plant uses steam to move the turbine, but a hydroelectric plant uses falling water. Hydroelectric energy is produced by the force of falling water. Producing this energy relies on both the available flow and the height from which it falls. Water collects potential energy behind a high dam. It's transformed into mechanical energy when the water goes down the sluice and hits the rotary blades of turbine. The rotation of the turbine spins electromagnets, which generate current in stationary coils of wire. Finally, the current is put through a transformer where the voltage is increased for long distance transmission over power lines. The theory is to build a dam on a really big river with a really big drop. The dam stores water behind it, and at the bottom of the dam wall, there's the water intake. Gravity causes the water to fall through the penstock inside the dam. The moving water turns the turbine propeller at the end of the penstock. The turbine goes up into the generator, which produces power. Power lines connected to the generator carry electricity to your house and mine. The water goes past the propeller into the river past the dam. It's not a good idea to be playing in the water right below a dam when water is released. Hydroelectricity uses the energy of running water without reducing its quantity to produce electricity. Therefore, all hydroelectric developments of small or large size and whether run off the river or accumulated storage fit the concept of renewable energy. Coal, oil, and gas fueled power plants stink. They just do. They use a valuable and limited natural resources, produce pollution, and have multiple waste disposal problems. Besides hydroelectricity being freaking awesome, it does have some disadvantages. It's very dependent on precipitation. In some cases, flooding of the land is common. Loss or modification of fish habitats are not unheard of either. Yes, fish are in danger. It also has a chance to change reservoir stream water quality. Hydroelectric plants do not burn fuel and have minimum pollution, so therefore there is little or no waste. Hydroelectricity. It's great. It's a renewable energy source. <laughs> it has a lot to do with water. Not many hydroelectrical plant malfunctions have been recorded. However, on the 17th of August 2009, Turbine 2 broke apart. The turbine hall and engine rooms were flooded, ceilings collapsed, and 9 out of 10 turbines were destroyed. In a whopping 75 people died. This tragedy was a Sainyo Sohan Sakaya incident in Russia. Hydroelectrical plants can be anywhere from Russia to the Hoover Dam in Nevada. Hello? I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. I'll call you back later. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. 
Hydroelectric power plants have a lot of advantages. Fuel is not burned, so there is minimal pollution. The water used to run the power plant is provided free by nature. It reduces greenhouse gas conditions, and there are low operations and maintenance costs. The technology is reliable and proven over time. I can't talk right now. And it's renewable. Rainfall renews the water in the reservoir so the fuel is almost always there. <clears throat> Did you know hydropower is the most important and widely used renewable source of energy? Hydropower represents 90% of total electricity production. China is the largest producer of hydroelectricity, which is then followed by Canada, Brazil, and yes, of course, the good old United States. Therefore, oh, I can walk. <laughs> Maggie, go on. Yes, go. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. Meg, you are. You got that on video. <laughs> she hates you. <laughs> keep that, keep that she hates you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever. Did you delete that one? Dude, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right, on top. It's tricky. Here we go. It's tricky to rock around.